like every horse has got a little something out of it too and then right yeah yeah i think you know particularly our, our horse came back and won the woods sierra leone won the when i believe he won the bluegrass after mm -hmm. that uh one of them, the horse that beat us a nose won the uh louisiana derby yeah. um so good you know when you see certainly. all that come together as a trainer you're does it kind of give you extra confidence, or you probably already have? Well, it's but... not. Well, it's good to see that you came out of a good race. Yeah. I mean, and, and ran well. So, I mean, we we you know ran okay against the potential Derby favorite, I suppose. Thanks a lot. All right. Bill, Thank the way you. the resilience has developed all winter was it part of your plan to bring him along slowly, or is that just the horse? I think we brought him along at a normal rate, actually. I mean, he was, you know, he ran as a two-year-old and we kept kind of ticking over and ran him, you know, early enough at, at three. We got a couple of nice races in him. And uh, so, you know, I think the progression was normal. I wouldn't call it slow. Yeah, I, mean, I guess what I meant in he's terms probably of becoming, got, He's yeah. probably got more in him than quite a few of the horses that are running in there, yeah. really. As far as, I guess, peaking and winning prep races, he kind of, you know, he won at the end, um, but was that sort of plan to kind of get him there over time? Well, you don't plan it, you hope for it. <laughs> you hope, you know, you hope it works out that way. Hey, what did you think of his race in the Risen Star? Was that what you were looking for at that time? No, I, I would have liked to have won it, but uh, uh, it, it turned out to be a good race, and I think we learned something by it. Johnny Velasquez rode him, and, and I mean, he, he was very strong on his recommendation on putting a set of blinkers on the horse, or at least having us try it, and it worked out very well. And were you surprised with his race in the wood? No, not really. I mean, you never know how they're going to, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm not surprised that he ran well because he was doing well going into it. And what are your expectations for Saturday as far as the horse continue to develop, go for mile and quarter, big field? Expectations? Uh, I, you know, I think when you get into this race, you just, you're crossing your fingers and hoping for a good trip and hope they show up. And, and run run a, you know run their best race but as far as expectations um i mean does he have to improve a certain amount to hit the board well, i think he, i think he needs to move forward a little bit to win sure i think any 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 horse that's gonna win the race probably has to move forward a little bit from their previous race and and you know maybe maybe not you know uh, fierceness i mean he ran a really a bang up race last time but anybody else that you know is probably gonna have to move forward a, a little bit to win now now you've got you know everybody coming together at the same time so far these you know these prep races the horses have been spread out now they're all running against each other so that's what makes the race so intriguing uh, is that you know they're coming from different places and you've got horses that are meeting each other that have never met each other before. Right. And with just FYI, you know, you've got the, the champion Tiro Philly coming back and, and uh, she, you know, kind of only had the one prep with the Ashland, but how do you feel about her coming in that second off? Well, the with that race in her and, and the works that we've put in her, I, I, I would be pretty comfortable that she's ready to go now. All right. All right. Well, good luck this Thank weekend. Thank you. Thank you.